Welcome to Ecanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to diagnose a Mercedes Benz that's equipped with a 38 pin connector. Now, uh, many Mercedes models from uh, the early 90s up to 2002 had this uh, 38 pin connector. And in order to diagnose them and access various control units on the vehicle, you'll need uh, a special adapter or multiplexer to access uh, things like the transmission control unit. ABS, uh, airbag control system, climate control. I mean, these vehicles can still have up to 20 control modules. If you connect to the OBD2 under the engine, you're only going to see that engine control unit that's number one on that list. But if you connect to the 38 pin with a multiplex connector, then you're going to be able to see all the control modules. So we're going to take a look at this. Uh, uh, Mercedes-Benz E-Class uh, W210 chassis. As you can see here, we're running a full, full system scan on this vehicle. We can see the various control units. We can see which ones have full codes in them. We can also see the status of the code if it's stored. The ones the codes are stored, we'll be able to clear them, which we'll show you later. And then you can also see if there's any codes that are current, and those are uh, codes that you will need to address and fix before you can clear them. Uh, but as you can see, the, uh, the lower control panel, upper control panel, SAM acquisition module. So all these um, control modules that you would normally not see if you are simply connected to the OBD2 port that's under the dash. But you can see the codes here. You can also enter, select any of these control modules, and you'll be able to enter. And if you want, you can clear individual uh, codes from individual control units. Or once this uh, scan is complete, we can hit uh, erase and clear all all the codes that are in stored status, which I uh, will do that in a second. Now, when you run a full scan, it can take a few minutes, so we're gonna fast forward this video as uh, the scan is getting completed. Now once the scan is complete, at the bottom you'll have a couple of options at the bottom of the screen. One of them is report. You click that and then you see the control modules that have codes, but you can scroll to the bottom and you can look at uh, just the summary of all the codes that are present. And you can see here we got a lot of stored ones. You'll, at the bottom of the screen you also have an option that says save report you can save it to the device or usb drive you can also email that uh, this report now if you go back to the list of all the control units you can select any of them to enter it that will allow you to read the codes look at live data that apply to that control module so if you're looking at an engine you're going to look at data from the engine uh, that's sent to the engine control unit if you look in transmission then you're going to see data from uh, you know, monitored by transmission control unit. Uh, some of the control modules will allow you to do um, active testing. Uh, as we saw earlier, engine control unit had some active tests there. But uh, in this, for example, in this uh, model door control module, um, it doesn't support the active test. If it was a newer Mercedes, you'd normally see active a lot of more, a uh, lot more active tests under these control modules. But in this model, um, it's it's a little bit more limited. Um, so you can see that you can enter any of the control modules as you can see here. Uh, this is a uh, basically SP or your a ABS system. You can run testing here. Um, you can use this for basically you know bleeding your ABS brakes, for example. If you go to the engine control unit, you're going to have a number of active tests in here. And you can see several of them in this list. Different things that you can complete. Now the list where we have a full scan, we can, at the bottom of the screen, you normally have an option to save the report. So always save the report once you do a full scan. And then you have an option to erase. When you hit erase here, it goes through all the control modules one by one. And it will clear all the codes now all the codes are in store status will clear if you got codes that show as current that means you gotta address that issue fix it and then you can come back and clear it so it's going through all of the systems it's clearing uh, all of them and um, there's a couple of codes that don't clear 
because they're they need to be addressed and fixed but for the most part um, it will clear codes from all the system and this is normal a lot Mercedes sometimes will have just a lot of codes uh, usually because the battery may be died or was too weak or the car was jump started in the past and a lot of these control modules like to throw fault codes for um, low voltage and you can see here a couple of codes didn't clear these two are related it's that that code is uh, has is keeping the light on um, in that module it's, it's not going to clear without being addressed fixed and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take a quick look at some live data now you can select whichever control unit you are interested in here we're going to take an engine control unit we're going to take a look at some data from this control module so you can see here different kind of things like for example drive authorization if your car doesn't start you can come in here and see it's kind of what's preventing uh, you know that um, but at the bottom there's more data as you can see here all these values will change as if you start the engine and you have it running uh, these values will change which can be very helpful for diagnostic purposes but that's it, a quick overview on how to diagnose Mercedes that have a 38 pin connector